Thanks for joining us on the channel again folks. Tonight we are doing a review on a foreign stout from Poland and it's called Nesta. So, as per intro we're doing a, a tropical foreign extra stout on this video and it's from Poland and it's called Nesta and I'm not even going to attempt to well I might brewed by Turzek Kumplay Kumplay Turzek Kumplay there you go uh, 6% ABV Enjoy 8 to 12 degrees. Uh, it's tropical for an extra stout. Is it dark, roasty, chocolatey ale, fermented, and a bit more of a fruity approach? Expect the aromas of roasted grain, chocolate, coffee, as well as fruitiness from the activity of the yeast, which this time worked at higher than usual temperature. We have saturated Nesta with nitrogen instead of usual carbon dioxide. Do not pour it delicately into the wall, but rather a strong stream bottle side up. Okay, that's a first. That is definitely a first. Here's the old graphage for a look. There you go. Just excuse my head peeking on the corner. Just so I've got it com composed. Okay, <laughs> you can pause that. There you go. <clears throat> so, maltiness and mouthfeel is the most prominent characteristics in this. Then it's three or five for sweet, uh, one fruit, two floral, two bitter, two hoppy. And uh, here we go. And it's from Beer 52's issue, ferment issue number 75. Right. Let's get a look at the can for you there. There we go. Nice jazzy psychedelic can. Give a wee run around. See it's uh it's got the label on it there. Am I upside down? I'm upside down. My screen's flipped so it just confuses the hell out of me. There we go. 330 can as you see. A nice snazzy can, anyway. a nice label, isn't it? And being in about labels, it's uh, perfectly adhered and no wrinkles or bubbles under it or anything, so we brew what we like. Well, let's, let's get it on and see what the nitrogen filled. Pour it quickly, it says. Here we go. Nice kind of brown head on that there. We about come over. Looks the part. Looks the old partage. What's that floating about in it? Just an air bubble there, folks. I thought it was something like that. Just an air bubble. A creamy head. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Superb. Superb. Lovely jubbly. Get the sum of that. Right. Your typical roasty stout, nose on it, which smells very good indeed. Mouth watering already. Look at that. So, to the eye it's black, to the nose it's chocolatey, roasty and coffee. And the malts, barley malts, rye malts and roasted barley. And it's got a beautiful head on it, look at that. Wish you could see it, I can't tip it over that much to see the creaminess at the top there. It's like the beginnings of a... A kind of widget can thing, you know, Guinness or something like that. It's a nice <clears throat> malty, it's been malty the most, I malty in mouthfeel. Definite <clears throat> roasty malt nose there, which is very nice indeed. 
very summery again is. Proper Guinness, I mean. Very creamy as well. It smells like kind of a bit of vanilla in there. Oh, got some of my nose. Just your typical roasted malt. Let's get it down as bottoms up. Whoa. Oh man. It must be the nitrogen instead of the CO2. It's that head is like foam. It's delicious and there's a very dry roasty malt is anything it's very smooth it's got the it's like almost very creamy it's like drinking one of your Irish coffees at Christmas or something it's like that kind of experience we're getting here And it's a very dry aftertaste, very malty flavour. On the tongue in the back of the throat, the breath is just bringing up, <clears throat> recycling a, a beautiful flavour. Looks like the creamy head is there to stay for the whole glass. I really like this. It might be a very much, might be a bit bitter for bitters, five, four out of five as well. It might be a bit bitter for a lot of people, but if you're a stout man or a stout person or a stout woman, you generally expect, oh, it's a beautiful nose. Very creamy indeed. I'm not getting any chocolate. I'm getting a hint of black coffee, percolated coffee. The nose is just, wow. <sighs> Delicious. I mean, the head's there to stay in it. The head is there to stay. Look at the lacing as well. I know a lot of people like the old lacing. This is a lacer's dream. Terrific. I can't really say anything bad about it, to be honest with you. The nose is, oh, it's got the kind of malty, almost spicy nose, the roasted, roasted barley, roasted malts. Delicious, absolutely delicious, folks, Nesta. Tropical foreign extra stout. Have some of that if you see it. <clears throat> I would absolutely recommend it. <clears throat> so what's the score going to be? This. Got a nice sweet sticky mouth as well. Lips. This has to be a 9 out of 10. I don't know if it would warrant a 10 out of 10, but this is nearly there, folks. This is a 9 out of 10.
unbelievable. This gem has been sitting in my fridge for over a, six weeks or something. Superb. So let me try and pronounce the brewery again. In fact, well, I'll not, but I'll just show you the... It'll be easier just showing me the... Right, there's a bit on the back here that we've not read it yet. So, <clears throat> stout, a top fermented dark beer coming directly from Porter, has been brewed since the 17th century. <clears throat> the word foreign meant, meant its export version, while extra indicated that it was a stronger variant of beer. Thanks to which, it had a greater chance of surviving the sea voyage. As early as in the 18th century, F.E.S. sailed from the British Isles and from the beginning of the 20th century from New York to the Caribbean. In this warm and humid climate, it was valued paradoxically for its body of alcoholic power. No wonder then that Jamaicans themselves started brewing tropical stout commercially in the 1920s. In Nesta, expect the aromas of roasted grain, chocolate, coffee and well-known fruitiness. The latter comes from the work of yeast as we gave it a bit of warmer environment this time. <clears throat> we saturated this beer with nitrogen to make it velvety and obtain a beautifully fine bubbly foam. Be sure to pour it vigorously. Cheers and one love. Well... You can't I disagree with any of that, can you? It's absolutely spot on. And even though it's been sitting for a wee tad there for a top couple of minutes, the head is just going to be there the whole way down. Magic stuff. Well, that's 9 out of 10, folks. I hope you've enjoyed looking at this as much as I've had tasting this. So thanks for joining us. And uh, that was a 9 out of 10. Nesta from... Trzek Kumpri. You can look that up online, folks. But don't have me saying that again. Thanks for joining us again. We'll get you on the next video. Cheers.